In this problem here, we are given a diagram up here, and then we are given a question, and it's asking us what is the current of I delta. So to solve this, we are going to use this point right here, which is known as a node. When we're looking at nodes, whatever goes into our node is known as a positive current, and if it's going out, it's a negative current. So if we are going into our node, that means it is a negative, and if we are going out, it is a positive. So there's three charges we are going to look at since we are looking at amperes. We have this one, we have this one, and we have this one. They're all going into our node, or away from our node. They're all associated with our node in some way. So the first one we're going to look at is this red one right here. It is going out of our node, it's going away from it. That means this is positive. So when we write this, we are going to have a positive I delta. Next, we're going to look at the next one. We'll do this one in blue. We look at the 16 amp one. So we're gonna look at the one that's going into our node. Since it's going into our node, it's going to be negative. So we're going to have a negative 16 amplitudes. Lastly, we're gonna do the one in green. And this is the three times I delta. It is going this way. Now, if we continue to draw this, we can see that it is going to go into our node as well. Since it's going into our node, we are going to have a negative three I delta. And this all has to equal zero because the sum of everything that hits the node needs to equal zero. So whatever we have is always gonna equal zero. I'll switch back to our black. And now we're going to do this. So I'm going to combine the I deltas and that's gonna give me a negative two I delta. And then I'm going to set this equal to our 16 amps after moving it over to the right side. Then I'm going to divide this and this will give me an I is equal to a negative eight amps. So I delta is equal to negative eight amps. And that is the answer for this problem.